Hi and uh, welcome to the sim. Uh, the sim is currently down uh, due to an issue with one of the actuators responsible for moving the motion platform. My preliminary investigation points to uh, the ball screw binding and you can also hear this binding noise in some of my videos. Today it's finally time to take the actuator apart and see what's causing the issue. Okay, the plan is to use this uh, jack to unload uh, this uh, rod end, remove this bolt, freeing up this end, and then disassembling the U-joint and freeing the whole actuator. Find out. Let's take it to the workshop and pick it apart. Here we are in the workshop. The first thing we need to do is to remove the drive unit with the servo motor, belt drive and brake. These four screws need to be unscrewed uh, to remove the drive unit. With the drive unit out of the way, the next step is to unscrew the bearing plate, which allows uh, sliding the actuator apart. And the removal of the actuator outer casing. During the disassembly I did check for clues for why the ball nut was uh, binding but didn't immediately find anything. With the outer casing removed I can now unscrew the ball nut from the slide. I don't really feel anything that indicates why the Whole screw is binding and everything still seems quite normal. Okay, disassembly complete, new ball screw unpacked and everything cleaned and inspected and it's time to start uh, the reassembly. The first part to be assembled is the slide which is clamped onto the hollow shaft. Clamping the slide gives the actuator push-pull capability although the amount of pull is somewhat limited. To prevent pulling the 3D printed slide apart, I have added bolts that put the whole slide in tension. Next is the bump stop printed from uh, TPU, which prevents the ball nut from crashing into the end support bearing. With the support bearing in place, it's time to mount the ball screw to the slide. With the slide and ball screw complete, it's time to slide everything into the outer casing.
with everything reassembled, it's time to remount the drive unit. One positive thing I take away from this teardown and reassembly is that there was no significant wear on the slide or on any other parts. Okay, the actuator is uh, back together, um, everything is connected up, so it's time for a quick test flight to see if everything is working. We're lined up at uh, Renton, runway 16, uh, ready for departure. Okay, I've been flying for a while and it still seems okay. Uh, let's go back to the workshop and uh, so I can show you uh, what I found that might have caused the uh, actuator to bind up. This is the bad ball screw and it feels just fine when turning it. However, this is what I found in the grease I cleaned out of the hollow shaft. The ball nut is apparently missing a ball bearing. I believe that would explain the binding but well, how the ball bearing escaped is a mystery to me. That's all for now, thanks for watching.